It's your girl DJ Miss Eclectic Wiki Wiki and you're checking out the Mixtape Podcast. It's your girl DJ Miss Eclectic y'all and I have a special dope artist on the Zoom tonight. I was about to say in the building but clearly well this is like the new building of 2020 is Zoom. So <laughs> I have Mr. Larry Watson, Mr. AKA Larry Watson in the building. <laughs> What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey. I am. I'm honored. I'm honored. That's all I can say is I'm, I'm honored to be, uh, you know, chilling with you tonight. Man, I'm glad to have you. I heard that song and I was like, yes, it's put me in like a <laughs> joyous mood. And I feel like that's what we need during these times right now. Just something to kind of take our mind off of everything that's going on and just kind of breathe and just, you know, sway along with it a little quick. So I love it. I love it. Yes. Yes, indeed. Yes, yes. So let's tell everybody who Larry Watson is. For those who are just joining, for those who are just learning about your music, who is who is Larry Watson? I uh, grew up, uh, I was born in Buffalo, New York, okay. um, the son of a pastor. Um, we traversed, man, dad, pastor uh, in Buffalo. Then we moved to Detroit for a couple of years and then we moved south. Uh, and so we've been in uh, Pensacola, Florida since 95. Um, I uh, went to high school here, went to college in Atlanta, uh, but the whole time I'm a, I'm a, I'm a PK. So, you know, um, and so my, I traversed through church like my whole life. Um, you know, I, there was a time when I was in the A that I was, uh, I was actually writing, uh, you know, different genres. I was doing some stuff in R and B. Um, I was, uh, in, in church, you know, of course. Um, uh, and so in the midst of that, I kind of learned that, um, you know, that the, uh, the reach, the, 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 there was a field out there that wasn't being tapped as far as, uh, you know, uh, when you listen, when you hear a smile, like you're going to hear some rhythm and it's, it's not so yeah. churchy, uh, shall I say, I just kind of felt like that there were people that needed to be reached that weren't in church per se. Um, but they might be caught with, uh, melodies and, uh, rhythms, um, and so God kind of just led me into this vein of just like this, uh, it's, it's feel good music, but it's, mm -hmm. if you listen to the lyrics, it's very powerful. It, it'll, it'll draw you in as far as the, the, the rhythm and the beat uh, is concerned, but then the lyrics, uh, also, uh, will capture you as well. So, uh, I'm a PK, uh, grew up in the church. Uh, and I did not say, um, my dad just recently retired, uh, at the church. And so, uh, congratulations, I, dad. Yeah, dad, dad yeah. is, uh, dad kind of put up, you know, his cleats and said, nah, man, that's it. But in, in the middle of that, uh, I now have uh, stepped up and I'm pastoring the church here in Pensacola, Inglewood, um, Baptist church here in Pensacola. So, um, we're looking forward to, to God doing some great things in the middle of the pandemic. And y'all know we got hit by the, the, uh, hurricane Sally. Yes, y'all so, did. So yeah, we're, we're rebuilding uh, from that. The church got hit pretty pretty good but you know god is good yeah, and uh, i think we're gonna recover well and uh, possibly be better than we were uh before the storm absolutely absolutely i have some yeah. good talent in pensacola some great i know right comes out of there. yes yeah. yes yeah i've interviewed a couple <laughs> artists i'm like okay let's get a little hidden talent in pensacola <laughs> yeah you know when we say like pensacola like what is that when you think of florida you always think yes. like miami mm -hmm. jacksonville tampa orlando um, Pensacola, we're, we're in North Florida. So when you come into Florida, we're like the first city, little city that you come into Florida. Uh, but it's a beautiful city. So if you guys ever are in uh, Florida, you don't want to bypass the Gulf Coast, some of the most beautiful beaches in the world, by far. I kid you not. The beautiful yeah. beaches, white sands, beautiful emerald water. you got to see Pensacola. That's what my uh, yeah. That's what my station owner. Shout out to Jerry Silvers. He's in Pensacola, Florida. He's like, it's beautiful here. And I'm like, you know, just, you're right. It's something that doesn't come to mind. Like, I'm Yo, going to, my, I'm going to the, Miami. I was, I was just on the phone with Jerry today. That's so really, funny. Really, really. <laughs> Shout out, Jerry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, indeed. Yes. <laughs> so I was like, all right, Pensacola. I said, I'm about to stop by there next time I'm rolling through Florida. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, Absolutely. Indeed. So Buffalo, New York, is that close to New York City? Where is that in relation to Buffalo is like New North New York, Okay, like North New York. Like we're uh, some people would say they would call like Buffalo country. Like, you know, like, you know, when you're in the South, they call Buffalo kind of like the country part uh, of New York. It's a big city, you know, the Buffalo Bills, you know, um, but uh, it's far from the city like Manhattan. It's, it's, it's uh, gotcha. more north 
uh, New York. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm, I'm meeting more people who are from the, I guess, the outside or suburban areas, you would say, of New York. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, my best friend is New York. Shout out, Chelsea. So you were saying that <laughs> <laughs> your music is a tad bit different than not have the actual churchy vibe. It sounds like he's maybe more of, a, more of an urban type sound. How would you explain the sound? I absolutely love it because it is like kind of a chill, kind of gives you a different vibe. And if you were outside of the church, you might not necessarily know in the beginning of the song that it's a church song. You might just say, oh, I like the tone of it. And you start listening to the words like, oh, we're talking about Jesus. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> now, it's, it's, odd, it's odd that you say that because uh, we've sent it to some uh, radio stations and they mm. kind of was like, yo, is this gospel? Like, you know, because it just didn't have that, you know, yes. typical uh, gospel feel. And we was like, hey, just listen. If you listen to the words, you'll see yes. that there's a message uh, in the music. And so, um, I, you know, it's, it's tough because uh, I, I would say when I was uh, writing R&B, um, a lot of times people would be like, you know, that record sounds like this person, that record sounds like this person. But I had a lot of uh, OGs like that. Uh, some people that did vocal coaching for like the Isley Brothers and Ooh. Al Green and stuff like that. And they always kind of right. told me about tone. Because like when you, um, if you have a distinct tone, like mm -hmm. you just know that that's, that's that record. Like if you hear a Fred Hammond record, you know right off the bat, man, that's Fred. Or Absolutely. John P. Key, like that's Absolutely. John. Or uh, Hezekiah. Like, you know, back in the day, even with, in, in R&B, like you could just hear like, man, that's Keith Sweat. Or that's, you know, mm -hmm. uh, SWV. Like you, you just kind of knew. And so did, I, wanted to, I wanted to try to find my own lane because it had, to me, it seemed like, everything started to sound alike. I don't know. That's just me. Just, no, just me. You know oh, no, you're absolutely yeah. correct. Yeah. I would agree with you 100% <laughs> on that. <laughs> yeah. And so, um, and don't get me wrong. I, I think one of the things with me was that I grew up in church. So I love worship. I love mm -hmm. contemporary. Um, I, you know, I love the CCM movement. I love all of that. And I, and I sing all of that. Like, you know, um, I even got some country records. You, you would be like, man, country. I mean, I just love music. Like I love, you know, Eric Clapton, classical jazz. I like a lot of different things. And so sometimes that can be dangerous because people, people will think you all over the place. Like, man, well, what is this style? Like, you know, um, and so I just had to hunker down and kind of find a lane that I thought was less traveled uh, mm -hmm. and just kind of trust God that, you know, that he'll get glory from, you know, uh, these, these messages and music that we present. Absolutely. I love it. Y'all, we're going to take a break right now, y'all. Make sure you keep it locked right here. I got Mr. Larry Watson. When we come back, we've definitely got to talk about this journey from R&B to gospel. Y'all keep it locked right here. It's the mixtape. You're tuned in to the mixtape. It's your girl, DJ Miss Eclectic. If you're just now tuning in, I got my boy Larry Watson, Pensacola, Florida. <laughs> So you remember yeah. talking about your style of music, and I kind of think it might be the future of gospel. Like the new artist, Doe, I hope I'm saying her name right. She's got like this eclectic vibe, this neo-soul vibe, Evie McKinney. It's like the future of gospel is kind of turning away from your normal, traditional gospel sound. So I think it's the future, and I think it's important for the future since a lot of, I guess you could say millennials and newer, they're not in the church like we were back in the day. It's a whole different yeah. world right now. So I think that's a very important factor for that type of music to reach those people. Yeah, most definitely. Um, I think that, um, I think I, I was in a, uh, I was at a, a pastor's conference one time and the, the pastor there was saying that uh, in this next season that uh, it's not going to, it's not going to be the message of, of Christ won't change, but the method of how we yes, reach man, people will it. change. Um, and, you know, Jesus kind of, compared uh us to winning souls as like us fishing uh fishers of men mm -hmm. if, if i'm in florida so i like to fish as well but in florida man there's different fish that like different kinds of bait mm -hmm. like you know they some fish won't bite uh certain baits it has to be a certain way some of it has to be alive and still moving oh, that's good. Um, same same thing i think jesus kind of did that because different it's you no know, different strokes different folks different bait for different people but either way um i think we have to just be open uh, that, you know, maybe we got to come out of the suits. Maybe we got to put on a, a, a baseball cap. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, whatever we got to do to win, uh, to win those for Christ is kind of where, where, that's where I am. And that's, the, that's, the, that's my plight and what I feel I'm called to do. 
I completely agree. And your music is definitely <laughs> different. That's the avenue that is taken. And I absolutely, I'm the, I feel the same way. That's one of my name is eclectic. Like, I don't feel like, don't put it in a box. You can't put God, you can't put the gospel in a box. It's not meant no. to be in a box. So absolutely no, no. love what you're doing. So how did you go from, you said you were in the R&B world. How did you shift straight to gospel? I know you're PK and you grew up in the church, but how did you go from R&B to gospel? Tell us about um, that. I felt like the, uh, and don't get me wrong, like there's some, I'm I'm still doing like some like more music that are that is kind of catered to like relationships and marriages, um, but I, I thought what better way but then to uh, express my love and adoration uh, for God? Like you know, um, I think that you know music has its place, you know, um, but I think that this music, this gospel music, is uh, is he is eternal. It's, it's like it's mm. it won't fade away. Like you know, it'll always you know, especially yeah, with the with the type of with the song smile. Like I I think smile a smile is like medicine when you look at it, man. Like it's really healing uh, for the soul. Um, but I think for me, um, the message and uh, the eternal um, uh, reward of mm. if somebody receive the message that I'm that I'm giving is way greater than you know I feel like you know any RB. Don't get me wrong, that's RB people that's getting paid, you know, but um I I I want to go beyond that to uh you know that there's a reward uh beyond earth uh that I'm seeking and I and I as I've gotten older um you know that that reward is something I'm seeking far more than anything. And so if somebody's touched healed, set free, delivered, changed, encouraged. I think for me, that's uh, more, um, you know, fulfilling uh, for me than anything. Hey, man, I love that. Absolutely love that. And you said something I liked earlier. You said you're still doing songs maybe about relationships. And I think that's important, too. I feel like sometimes gospel leaves out this whole talk about millennials again, which are pretty much your people think of millennials as the newest, but that's generation with X, Y. I don't know where we are now. But millennials <laughs> are the ones out here who are out of college, college educated, in relationships, either married, getting married, want to be married in that main vein. So we want to hear songs like that. We want to get in the car and hear, I'm feeling like I'm loved today. I want to hear jesus but i want to hear something positive but i also just want to hear a straight up love song so i like right. that you're including that in your music i think there's such a lane for that i saw man what is the album yeah. coming out let me just ask this why <laughs> <laughs> we, there's there's so many um there's we we have like a treasure chest of music there was a time i'll be honest that i was very fearful that uh, the church would rebuke me and my music man i didn't think that what i was doing would be accepted like you know like it just wasn't, you know, you know, wasn't wasn't the type of thing that you could that you could probably do in praise and worship. It's more it was more yeah. of like a vibe, um, more meditational, you know, or you know, it's, it's you know, you kind of just relaxing and kind of chill. Yeah, we the the album is ready. I, mean, I literally we're sitting on probably probably about thirty songs. So oh. um, it's just all about uh, initially. I'm just trying to get people to f- get a feel for. Uh, Larry Watson and, and what what I'm about. Of course, we want the album to come. We're going to kind of just sprinkle, uh, you know, a little bit at a time before okay. we get, you know, to the main course. And so, uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully 2021. Uh, but just depending on the longevity of my yeah. singles, uh, and I really want people to really get a feel of uh, who I am. And then hopefully, at some point, 2021, 2022, we can kind of get out and do some live stuff and really, really get a vibe um, with, with, with people. So it's coming. I can just say it's coming soon. <laughs> hey, I like that, y'all. Speaking of it's coming yeah. soon, y'all, let's get into this single smile. What do you want people to feel when they hear this song? I know, I, Ooh, I know how it makes me feel, but how do you want people to feel? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, um, I oftentimes say this, man, that I think that sometimes um, a smile can be prophetic um, because you can – you can literally smile and that's that's really you know that's really not your internal feeling but sometimes mm-hmm. you gotta you gotta smile your way um almost kind of speak um what where you're going or what's about to happen i, I noticed that i did that a lot of people be like man you, you like smile or not you get tough news that you got to deal with and you mm-hmm. just kind of sit there with a smile it's like i'm i'm kind of speaking over my situation yes, like it's, yes. it's all it's gonna be all good like you know god's gonna work this out like you know um and so 
prophetically smiling, even when you're feeling down or uh, disappointed um, uh, or, you know, in the middle of a pandemic or this uh, social injustice that we have going mm, on. Mm. So we're going to smile about it because we know that all things work together uh, for the good. And so um, just kind of speaking that over your life, your situations, uh, smile and just, you know, it got that vibe. So it kind of make you, if you was in a bad mood, if you listening to, to smile, it's going to make you uh, you know, kind of think, yeah. think on those things, you know? Um, and so uh, I just want, I want it to be a vibe that becomes a reality. It's like a prophetic uh, utterance over your situation, over your life that, you know, we're going to smile through this pain. We're going to smile through the injustice. We're going to smile through uh, the pandemic. We're going to smile because we know everything's going to work out for our good. It's your girl DJ Miss Eclectic. If you're just now tuning in, I got my boy Larry Watson, Pensacola, Florida, in the building. Pensacola stand up. Pensacola in the house. <laughs> we just played this new single, Smile. I absolutely love it. I was listening to it. It kind of gave me like that. Um, I don't know. I felt like a little Kanye West flashing lights in there. I was like, I gotta give it to I was like, I got the little. I was, like, I was jazzed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, y'all. I still listen to regular music sometimes. I'm not all the way uh, down. <laughs> <laughs> oh man but i absolutely love it man i'm loving the song i'm loving the whole vibe again we can't wait till the album comes out 2021 how do you see gospel music shifting or shaping for 2021 or the industry as a whole with the pandemic whoa man i i don't know about for me as a as a music consumer man i just can't wait to like get into a live situation to see, to hear some and see some live music. I'm pretty sure like concerts are probably going to be, we might be wearing masks, but I think people go, going to want to want to consume it live uh, in the, in the upcoming uh, days. Um, I think the expression of music, you're starting to see people that are like being very creative, man. Mm-hmm. What's that? The guy to try, try Jesus and don't try me. Yes. <laughs> um, hands. Yes, but I, think, sir. I, I think artists now are, um, they're, they're becoming creative and not just the uh, the writing element or the vocal element. I mean, even in the visual element, this thing has forced us to be, uh, to think outside of the box. And so, um, I mean, this past year, man, we've seen some amazing things that, you know, you know, uh, you know, God bless everyone that we lost to COVID-19, but even in the midst of that, seeing how people can be creative on lockdown. Um, and so um, I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to, you know, uh, some some new styles, some people being bold in their message um, and their expression on on how they express themselves creatively and visually. Um, I think it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. I mean, like like the Stellar Wars was was different, right? Did you? Yes, yeah, so I'm saying the Stellar Wars, the Dove Awards. That's what I'm saying. Yes. What are we doing in 2021? We just gonna be up. We already up to four o'clock in the morning. when you go to the Stellar Wars and all the other after parties in the show. We are gonna be up to this the next day. Ain't nobody right. going. It's going to be concert after concert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. But I'm looking forward to it. I'm Me too. To Absolutely. It. Yeah. And I'm loving it. I mean, yeah. you, you're right. It's pushing artists' creativity. So I'm yeah. looking forward to the projects that are coming out. Because you're right. Sometimes we do get in the lane and we get very comfortable and everything yeah. starts to sound the same. And that's just in general. Right. In life, we get complacent. That's not a dig to on anybody. That's for everybody. So I, I'm just yeah. looking forward to creativity. You sitting at home. You thinking about different things. Uh, um, uh, I just had a blank. Um, Anthony Brown, they just came out with a whole, like, uh, sitting in my room, a pandemic album is dope. So I'm just loving yeah. the creativity that's coming out. So I, yeah. you know, oh, I can't wait. Like, I'm I'm looking forward to 2021. So before we yes. roll, I got to ask, man, if you had a choice of, let's see, collaborate with Kirk Franklin or Donald Lawrence, who would it be? Oh, wow. That's not fair. That's not fair. I love them wow. both. I, I wouldn't ask them. I'm just asking. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, you know what? Um, it's, wow, wow. You know, for me, I think Donald Lawrence, uh, he's the OG more than Kirk. You I'm know a, what he I really think, is. Yeah, I think I think we were I think our youth choir was singing Donald Lawrence song before Stomp even came out. Like you know what I'm saying? Oh, so yeah. there's a there's a in town. He's get like it was old school. Yeah, come on, <laughs> I know. Come on. yes, yes. Like you know, so you know, I mean, I, I'll just say this: I wouldn't turn down the opportunity with either of them. You know what I mean? Like I think they're both uh, prolific writers and rangers, and they've been proven. They both are, have stood withstood the test of time, and so. 
I wouldn't, if if I had one or the other and I just put my hand in the basket and, and drew a name, I wouldn't be mad with Kirk or, uh, uh, or, or, my, or my brother. Tell me his name because I'm having a brain. Donald uh, Lawrence. Donald Lawrence. And so if I pull a Donald, I'll be happy. If I pull a Kirk, I'll be just as happy because they, I mean, they, they OGs, they, they withstood the test of time. Um, sure. But, you know, Donald, man, I'm telling you, we were singing Donald, man, before you're Kirk right. even came along. You're right. And Donald, talk about creativity. Donald is super creative. I mean, he works in the secular world as well. He, uh, All these artists go to him. Like Chance yes. the Rapper. All these people work with Donald Lawrence. She's like, what? So, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. There are yes, the Baptists. Like you, he's, he works with so many people. He brings the gospel out. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. They be sleeping on Donald sometimes. Like, you can't yeah, sleep they on do. Donald Lord. Nah, but, I love both. <laughs> yeah, Donald going, he, he, that's going to be, whatever he does is going to be a radio banger. He, whatever he does. I mean, he, from the production to the lyrics to everything, to the mix, everything is just like, 10 10 like you know and with kirk too like you know kirk, kirk. oh abs- i love both you know i'm from texas <laughs> kirk is from texas yeah yes i'm all, i'm all for both i absolutely they're both legends to me i got one more for you though okay you got it. they be doing erica campbell or kiera sheard oh that's two total lanes but you know they both kill it they bring the urban then they bring the traditional you know they got the both going oh i'm gonna be straight up with you as far as like um Vocally, I think Kiara is amazing, man. It's Ooh. just when you close your eyes, man. It's like yeah, Clark yeah. Sisters World all over again. Come on. Um, but as far as like um I would say international reach, I think Erica is killer. Like, you know, she she has some bangers, man. Yes, so, yes. you know. Um, I know you forced me, I gotta pick. I would I would um uh, I think for how for what I do and my vibe. I think uh, Erica is more my vibe, you know what I'm saying? But I wouldn't turn down a, a, a gig <laughs> or, or a record with Kiki either, but uh, preferably I think me and Erica could do an amazing record. Um, and don't, and I think that, uh, with Kiki as well, but I think we would have more of a chemistry, uh, Erica and Again. I. Um, yeah. We're going to speak all that to exist. You can work with yeah, all of Yeah, we got to do it. We got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think all those artists are amazing. I just had to throw it out there. And I love what Kiara yeah. Shear and Mary Mary and Erica Campbell, like what they've done, how they've all they've always been on both sides of the lane. They've always done these urban gospel jams that made you jam, but then they also bring it back traditional. So you got an album that's full of, that's for everybody from the young yeah. to the old. So I love what they do. And that's pretty much every artist I've said, every artist. I, that's yeah. what I love. And that's the kind of vibe that you give me. So I know that you, we would work well with any of them. <laughs> hey, so let me be clear, though. I mean, yesterday, I, I might, Ke- Kiara has this uh, this song called it, It's Happening for Me or something like Ooh, that. I, I, played, I literally play it every morning. <laughs> man, I played this. I played it like five times yesterday, man. That song is so, like, so the relevance of right now man it's, kiki she she in my spirit right now man she, it's, that, it's that speaking over your life my my yeah. seed is blessed my family's blessed come on yes. it's like it's like i speak over my life in the morning that's my morning yes. song Here, yes if you watching that's my morning song right yes there. yes yes indeed yes indeed Absolutely. <laughs> so we got the album so we got smile out right now tell everybody where they can go get the new single all right so the new single is uh it's on all digital outlets uh apple music uh spotify all digital outlets title wherever you can go get music but i'm gonna I'm ask that y'all would purchase the download purchase it download and then stream it purchase it download it and then stream purchase it, it. Download, uh, but either way i want you to enjoy the record all digital platforms uh, smile is available i um, looking forward to rocking with y'all real soon absolutely and tell everybody where to go find you on all social media outlets Yes, indeed. Uh, hit me up on uh, my Facebook page, also on Instagram, uh, my website, Larry Watson Music, Larry Watson uh, You can also uh, uh, you can book me there as, as well. If you want me to come t- uh, to your ministry or your event, uh, I would love to be a part of that uh, once Corona lifts. Uh, but uh, we're looking forward to opportunities in 2021 and in the near future. Absolutely. Well, Larry, aka Larry, um, I have absolutely <laughs> enjoyed you. <laughs> Y'all missing the beginning. He was like, No, I was like, How do you pronounce your name? He was like, Larry. And I was like, Well, you know, he's kind of bougie, but hey, we work with it now. <laughs> 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 but no, I absolutely appreciate you. Um, I love the song. I love what it represents for the future of gospel. I'm looking forward to the whole project in 2021. Y'all go get the single Smile. 
absolutely yes, love it. You have a great evening. Y'all keep it locked. We still got some good jams on the way, y'all. It's the mixtape. Yes, indeed. Appreciate you, girl. Wiki Wiki, the mixtape podcast with your girl DJ Miss Eclectic.